guys, it's Miss Jessica, and I am here to read you a story called The Boy Who Went Away. So let's stop, put on our listening ears, and get ready to listen to our story, okay? So this is The Boy Who Went Away. A big boy lived with his brother and his daddy. The big boy was not happy. He didn't want his daddy to tell him what to do. So one day, the big boy took all his pennies and said goodbye. Then he went far away down the road. Now his daddy couldn't tell him what to do. Nobody told him what to do. Nobody said, eat your carrots, or don't do that, or it's time to go to bed. The big boy just did what he wanted to do every day. He took his pennies to the same store. He bought just what he needed. He had lots of fun until one day, his pennies were all gone. I know what to do, the big boy said. I'll work, then I'll get more pennies. So he worked, he took care of a man's pigs, but he never got enough pennies. He was hungry every day. At last, the big boy thought, the men who work for my daddy, they have lots to eat. I'll go home to my daddy. I'll say to him, Daddy, I've been bad. I haven't pleased God. I haven't pleased you. I'm sorry. So the big boy started walking. Step, step, step went his feet. Step, step, step all the way home. His daddy saw him coming. His daddy ran and put his arms around him and gave him a kiss. Daddy, said the big boy, I've been bad. I haven't pleased God. I haven't pleased you. I'm sorry. His daddy wasn't angry. Oh, no. His daddy said, quick, bring my boy some new clothes. Look how big his smile is. He's so happy. The daddy said, bring him shoes. Bring him a ring. My boy has come home. Let's have a big dinner. And they did. So what did we learn today? Well, when the boy came home, his daddy was glad. And when you say, God, I haven't pleased you, but I'm sorry, that makes God happy too. You guys did an awesome job listening to our story, and I hope that you stay tuned for our activity. Bye. Hey everybody, we just listened to a story about how a boy went away from his parents and then, you know, he fell on hard times and he ran out of pennies for his food. So he went back to see his mom and dad and they welcomed him with open arms and they gave him new clothes and new shoes and food in his belly. So today we're going to be filling each other's buckets with forgiveness or with prayer requests. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some popsicle sticks, a marker, crayon, pencil, whatever you wanna use, and anything that looks like a bucket. You can use actual buckets, you can use cups, whatever you wanna do. And you don't have to use popsicle sticks if you don't want to, you can use pieces of paper. But I encourage you to go read Have You Filled a Bucket Today by Sarah McLeod. It is a story about how we bring each other up and how we make everyone happy. So today, I'm going to be filling a bucket up for my mom and my dad. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write on your piece of paper or your popsicle sticks and you're gonna tell them what they're doing great. So I'm gonna write on here, you're awesome. See, it says you're awesome. I'm gonna put that in my deck. And then I'm gonna say, you have a nice smile. 
I'm gonna put it in my mom's bucket. And when we do this stuff, it makes other people happy and it makes them want to smile. You don't even have to write anything on there. You can just doodle something. So you can put some hearts on there. Put some smiley faces. Just something to remind your friends or family that you love them or you're thinking about them. Or if you know that you've done something bad and that you accidentally hurt a brother or sister or you know that you need to ask for forgiveness, you can write on these things and say, I'm sorry, or anything of that nature. And you can put it in someone's bucket. I hope that you guys fill up a bunch of people's buckets and you make them so happy with your smiles. And I will see you guys next time.